Hey y'all, welcome back to Heartland Farmstead here. Uh, today, I got to do a few things here. I got today off, so I'm, I got, we got to get pig feed in. And uh, I got feeders that are plugged up, and so I have the feeders out of the pen. Well, one of them right now, I'm working on cleaning it out. And then I got to take the, I got two other feeders here, I'll show you. And uh, we got, there's one feeder, and there's the other feeder that's still in the yard. That, that last one still has a little feed in it, but uh, we got to uh, get them cleaned out, get all the feed clumps and stuff. Uh, I mean, no matter how much you try to keep them cleaned out, they always get mold clumps and stuff because hogs are always wet and nasty and to keep them cool we run a sprinkler on them so they get their no you know get all wet and then they get their heads in there and it gets you get mold build up and stuff like that so we're gonna clean them out so that way our feed flows out nice and and reposition them I had them just sitting on the ground before because when last time we got feed they were just little pigs yet and this time we're going to I'm gonna put them up on some fence post so that way they're not sitting directly on the ground and rotting out. Uh, so, yeah. So this is one of the, this is the one I have out. You can see I'm getting, I brought the broom over so I could sweep it out and get all the creases cleaned out. But it, uh, There wasn't a whole lot, not even a bushel basket full of feed out of there. Uh, but it it gets clumped up. If you look, you can see that moisture when they get in there. It clumps up and it, that's what plugs up the feeders all the time. So when we get, get feed, I make it a point to take them out and clean them out. And, and uh, make sure they're all good to go. It just makes it a lot easier when you're uh, trying to keep feet hogs fed, especially when we we schedule them out so that way, I mean, because we have to book make our locker appointments and stuff like that a year in advance. So we want them growing as much as they can because we're kind of on a time limit and we want, want to want them to do good so uh there's a rule of thumb as a rule of thumb usually a hog from farrow to finish should be about six weeks to finish and weight which i like them a little bigger than that i always push mine up there at about three 325 350 instead of the 280 you just get a little better better meat out of them and you get a little more of that fat mix in there and stuff too and it's that's always treated us good so that's what that's what we do and we try to it takes let's see we got these hogs in april and they go to locker and um, end of october first part of november so that would be uh april may June, July, August, September, October, that's seven months. So, I mean, they should be plenty big, but I just like to keep things going. I mean, and that's not obviously not good for them to be eating mold. Um, we have, I'll throw throw some of this back to them because there's there's powder and stuff that they'll, they'll dig through. They won't eat the bad stuff, but, and then that'll also mix in with the manure and stuff and it'll, Help solid out that up too when we go to clean out the pig pens and stuff and haul the manure out this fall. So, yeah. See, this is what I was kind of talking about. That's just that's mud in the troughs from from the hogs rooting around in there, and that's where the moisture comes from that gets the feed moldy. So that's why I'm cleaning all this out. We clean it out regularly in the yard, but it still gets still gets full of mud. So. You just gotta keep cleaning them out, I guess.
Hey y'all, so I just finished cleaning out the feeders here. Uh, you can see I got, this is the last one I was cleaning out here. I got about a full, full bushel basket full of stuff out of it, but yeah, it's, they were needing, uh, needing cleaned out. So we got them cleaned out. Um, I'm going to put this one back in there. I'm going to get some old posts to set it on. And then we'll we'll be ready for feed. Uh, this is... Here, let me let me turn around. I don't know where... I found this one. One of the neighbors had it and I bought it off of him. But this is by far the best hog feeder I have found yet. It doesn't plug up nearly as bad. You can see... You can look at, there's not near as many clumps, and that feeds actually, I mean, that's pretty good feed actually, yeah, but I'm just cleaning it all out, and they don't get near the, near the mud in the trough, like, it, I don't know, it's a co-op brand, I have no idea where to even, I mean, I'm sure you can't even get them anymore because co-op doesn't exist, but it was, uh, it's it's by far my favorite feeder that we have. I mean, we've had the least amount of problems with this one, as the other ones we have are Pax brand, and they're all right. They actually have little, like down here in the trough, they have little little flippers that the hogs flop around. This one here is just a a ring that it turns and. In my opinion, that one works the best. And the other thing I noticed is the pan is not as deep as what the Pax ones are. It's more angled. So I don't know if that helps or what, but this has been by far the best feeder that we have had. I mean, it holds up good and cleans out good. Oh, there's a chicken going through the leftovers <laughs> I don't know it holds up good and I love it uh, uh, I mean it's it's shorter so it's easy to see inside of and it's a little bit wider so it still holds the same amount of feet as what the packs do it just is shorter and wider and this one here even the sides are stronger than what the packs ones are I don't know I mean I say, I don't know who took over making these or if they just quit altogether or what, but they were dang good feeders. I'd like to find more of them if I could because that's just, they're awesome. You don't have near the problems with them as what we did the other ones. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I got to, I'll take you over here. Um, I'm going to put the sprinkler on them. It's getting kind of warm out for pigs, so... I got to, I'll show you when I get over here, but I got to reroute our sprinkler hose because we had to take our bore out. It was starting to get a little antsy. So we had to, he had to go to his own pen. There's our bore. Uh, his name is Shrek. <laughs> he's a, he's actually a registered Hereford boar. Um, we put him, this is where the sprinkler hose was, and since we put him in there, we can't be having a water line in with him. So, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put it, I'm going to zip tie the hose up to that fence line, right up, up there, so it's out of his, out of his reach, just kind of like what? What we did over here for the water nipples, I just zip tied it on top of the fence. That's a little out of reach. It's hard for hogs to get their head up. Harder for hogs to get their head up. They're built to go down, not up. So if it's up about that high, it's pretty much safe. I mean, I'm not going to say they're not going to get into it, but it's it's pretty safe. Um. And whoever said, yeah, whoever said pigs aren't smart, these pigs, I haven't turned the water on yet, and 
they ran water out for themselves out of the nipples and made a big mud hole so that way they're not hot. And you tell me pigs aren't smart. Uh, they're so smart they're a pain in the butt. That's what it is. They're so smart that they're a pain in the butt. Hey y'all. It's been a couple days here. Uh, I was going to show you kind of the feeders and how they're holding up. Uh, so let me get you turned around here and I'll show you. This is our first pin. Our, we just got rained. And the flies are... But see, look, I cleaned them out and they're already getting mud and stuff in them. So that's one of the PAX feeders. We have this one here. Let's, yeah, see, they're already getting them full of mud and everything. That's just the nature of them. I mean, it's. That's just part of having pigs. Here's see that. Look how much better that one is. Like hi Reba, hi, hi Reba. This is gonna be one of our gilts we're keeping back. She's a registered, uh, actually a registered Duroc. So it's gonna be one of the ones the kids are showing at the fair. So, and then, here's my hose that I ran over, and you can see, there's our sprinkler for the pigs. If you can look back there, hang on, I'll go. I got a nice mud hole back there, so. Yeah. So, that's our feeders, kind of our setup a little bit. Hold. With little lock and everything, there's going to be some changes coming this way, but all in due time. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed something, enjoyed and, and learned something. So, until next time, later.